I got to be honest, I, I never seen a, a grown man cry, let alone one your size. Is that what you do when things get rough? You, you cry? <laughs> my father used to beat the hell out of me if he ever saw my lip quiver. But, but, but hey, made me strong. And in this job, you got to be strong. You, you can't excuse yourself every time you see something that upsets you. <laughs> you think this is odd. My first week on the force, my partner and I got a call. There was a kid shooting barflies at random. Bartender was already dead, a couple of patrons too. And then he pointed his gun at me. I had no choice, and I put one right between his eyes. Coroner told us he was all messed up on meth. He was nine years old. I'll never forget, his name was Travis Devereaux. Oh my God, who was he? Your cousin? Your brother? Why didn't you tell me? You didn't think that was important to mention? Hey, come back here. Stop crying and get over here. We got a job to do. When I lost the use of my legs, a friend drove me up here to Springfield to take a look at this place where they worked with the handicapped. I watched the physical therapists working with the patients. And there was one. He was the most beautiful man I had ever seen. And I knew that if I couldn't be with him, I would die. But I knew that I would just be another crippled dame as far as he was concerned. So my friend helped me to get registered as deaf and disabled. I thought that if I could somehow seem needier than everyone else, I would get special attention. I soon realized that everyone got special attention as far as Lloyd was concerned, but by then it was too late. He was already in love with me, with my honesty. Real people casting even mean? <laughs> what, what does that mean? I am a diversity hire? I know Shakespeare. I can weep on cue. I can do stand up. I have won countless acting competitions. I can memorize as many lines as needed. All that just to be an extra? Oh, I am better than this. You know what? I'm going to be the best day, human prop, acquaintance, plant, cousin, whatever the world has ever seen. Yeah. So, oh. what are you telling me now? A new woman just came onto this floor and maybe we could be friends? I'm done with that. Suppose we start connecting, as you say, sharing scrapbooks, working on jigsaw puzzles, for Christ's sake, until one or the other of us is whisked down to the next label, level. And eventually there's a rose in the vase, on the table, in the foyer, with a card, with a name on it. Another little Indian gone. If I've gotten to know that little Indian, if I've gotten to care about her, for Christ's sake, then it's heartbreak time again. And how many times can a bone break and then heal? You tell me that. How much sadness can one person stand? So, no thank you. What do you mean I'm too isolated? It's safe here in this room. Now get out, Missy. Thanks for celebrating my quarantine birthday with me. I got a handmade card from my mother-in-law, some bling, 
A necklace for my husband. It's new, but it looks vintage. Of course, socks. More socks. Sloth are my spirit animals. Thanks to my nurse friend for sewing this face mask for me. Flowers, of course. And a toast to all quarantine birthdays. Happy quarantine birthday.